Welcome to another one of my landscape photography videos. It's Andrew here, and um, I'm up in uh, northeast Victoria at um, a place called Beechworth. And uh, I'm currently what in a section where they call the Beechworth Gorge. It's quite a long area with uh, rivers and streams and a great big gorge near the uh, actual town. But I'm further downstream. Um, I've come here this morning at Sparrow's Fart even before the sun's up to try to capture um, some uh, pictures of the Cascades over here. It's awesome country up here. Um, I've uh, had a couple of weeks that have been quiet because it's winter in Australia. It's done nothing but rain. The day's a little bit miserable today. There is a bit of grey cloud and fog, but I'm hoping um, that I can capture some awesome uh, images out here this morning. So without further ado, let's make our way down. So I'm down here now at the uh, Cascades. I have um, my Nikon Z5 with my Samyang 14 millimeter. Uh, and the composition I'm starting with is a low one. So it's quite low to the ground. Um, what I will do after that is I will uh, lift the tripod take it from a couple of different perspectives. I did want to try to get some of the um, falls below me in. Um, however, you need to be down the other rock pool and I don't know that I can get the whole lot in together. Um, it is also worth noting here that it's winter here in Australia and it's extremely slippery, these rocks. So I have to be very careful about where I set up and not to drop myself in the creek or anything like that. So I'm trying a few different um, uh, shutter speeds here. I started at about 1 15th of a second, got down to now about um, uh, 1 5th of a second. Um, so I'm trying to make the water milky, but not too milky that you lose definition. Um, as I said, I've got a low, set up at the moment and then I'm going to head on over to just over there and see if I can get a bit closer and a bit different perspective. I've moved just a little further down closer to the Cascades. Um, currently I'm shooting 1 15th of a second F8, ISO 320. And it's worth noting that I set it up with a five second timer. You can use uh, remote triggers. You can just um, focus it and let it go straight up. But I've found that it stops some of the vibration and it gives you a little bit of time to get back and let the um, camera do the work. So uh, I've been in all sorts here. <laughs> Uh, I dropped my phone in the drink for a second, um, not too good, <laughs> but it is working. Um, I was a bit closer to the falls, uh, don't know if I like the perspective or not. I've moved back about halfway between where I started and, um, and uh, to the falls, so I've set up here now. And I'm going to change lenses. I'm going to try the 24 to 70. If this is a manual focus lens. The other's an auto focus, so I might be able to focus that. Plus, I can also uh, pick my perspectives to zoom. So we'll see how we go. So I've come up here to a more um, higher location. I'm on the bridge. It's probably a um, place that most people would shoot their photos from, um, especially tourists and stuff like that. And you can get some great photos from up here. Um, sometimes it's nice to change the perspective a bit. Once again, I'm, um, I'm at uh, between 1 20th of a second all the way down to about one, one uh, quarter of a second um, 
changing the ISO down as I go, exposure compensation down so it's not too bright. Um, we'll see how we go with these. My composition is this. It's quite a lot of glare on the screen, so I don't know if you can see it. So I'm uh, downstream now of the bridge. The bridge is up there a little ways. Um, I've just shot a composition here. You can see uh, the sort of shot I was going for. And then downstream, um, I haven't been downstream here before. I'll just show you what it looks like down there. There's a great big drop, so I'll go and have a look. So upon further exploration, I've found uh, more waterfalls and um, an absolute cracker down there. I don't know how we're going to get down there, but look at this. It's totally insane down there. What can I say, but bloody incredible. This is um, another waterfall. Leads all the way back down there, way down. Still falling. Incredible, I'm so excited. Um, doing the same, uh, same compositions again, it's just amazing. So I'm shooting a lower composition here. I uh, can't really see the screen that well, but um, we've been going down from 120 per second down about one quarter of a second. Um, as we go down, gets brighter. I've got to bring the ISO down, exposure comp down. I've got to um, uh, take the f-stop up, which all darkens it a bit. And as I come back up in the shutter speed, I'm um, lifting everything back up. So the ISO up a bit, the exposure comp and the, uh, the f-stop as well. Oh, I'm a little out of breath. Getting up them falls is quite an effort. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you like this video, give it a like and a subscribe. It helps support me. I need uh, to get some subscribers there to uh, get my channel up and rolling and make sure people can see it. Thank you.